In this video, I will provide you with another method for building your own roof trusses. Do what you want with it. Use it for whatever project you think it will work on. Just keep in mind that you might be able to build something like this a little faster with ceiling joist and roof rafters without pre-assembling the roof trusses. But at the very least, you will have another method for building your own roof trusses. And of course, you will be installing blocks in between the roof trusses and blocks at the bottom of the roof trusses, even though I haven't drawn the blocks in. And all of these components will nail together. So you will nail this board here to this one here with 16 D nails. And I would imagine you would need to use between 4 and 20 for this connection here, depending upon the project. And I know 20 nails seems a little excessive for something like this, but again, I'm not an engineer and won't be able to recommend this for wider buildings. The width of that, I know some of you are going to say, well, how wide? I can't answer that question either. And even though this board right here can fasten to this one here, you might consider using a framing anchor or another hardware connector to connect this board to this board. And I do have a nail going down in there to provide you with something else you can use. And I believe between two and eight nails might be sufficient for these web connectors. And don't forget that you can nail from both sides of these boards. I can nail from this side and the other side. And that's actually what I would suggest if you were gonna build something like this. Put some nails on this side, then go around and put some nails on the other side. And I really don't know how long the lap would need to be here. Again, I think you could get away with a smaller lap, maybe a two foot lap on a building less than 10 feet wide. And the thing I like about this is that almost every board laps and can connect to another board. And in reality, shouldn't be that much heavier than a regular roof truss. However, due to its awkward shape, it's not going to be as practical to assemble at a roof truss manufacturing plant with the gang nail connectors like you see on most roof trusses. And this isn't something I ever saw on the internet. I actually found it in one of my older construction books that I have in my library.